All right, let's continue our journey and um, let's talk a little bit about your razor talk because you know I follow a certain order going from top to bottom. Okay, so it's time to talk about a razor. So a razor is very important. Important. You can use to, of course all that if you have a say a Bluetooth keyboard attached to it. You can use the shortcut. It will like make your life a little bit easier. But I think it's overkill because you know. You use pad, just to you want to use it on the go. You don't want you know have a lot of uh, accessories attached to it. So it's just a completely you know change the meaning of using uh, the iPad. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't really matter. So the eraser tool very, very important. Remember last time we talked about if you say draw this, you got the guideline. Okay, so eraser tool would just change the guideline. Okay, rather than just like erase. <laughs> Rebracing. So, for example, if you look at here, uh, we got this uh, like a banner. Okay, the banner from left to right. You you raise things. You might think that hey, I raise, I will have effect like this. But in fact, it won't get effect like this. But rather, you change the guideline. It will just generate two, um, you know, two banner. Okay, and um, let's just uh, use one clear example. I think that uh, let me just create a new. Okay, just create a new. So for example, I use the um, um, blob brush and use a uh, maybe paint brush, document, and let me use a basic banner and start from here to here. Okay, remember the guideline appear first and then automatically add texture. If you got the uh, selection tool, okay, you click it here, you can see we got this guideline. All right. And then, of course, you can, you can change like a different point. Click it and drag it. Okay. But if you use the eraser tool, it will just erase the guideline. Okay. So, for example, if I move it here, this point will be break. So it just to become two guideline. Okay. So just to, because sort of break the guideline. So just the line and break it. So just two lines to generate two um, banner according to the algorithm. So if you look at here, if I like erase it here, it will just automatically break it and generate two. If I say erase it here, you will break as well. And if you look here, um, so for example, if you break things that does not have an anchor um, point like this uh, really small dot here. If you break things that do not have a dot like in between, okay, let's try this. It will automatically generate more, right? So let, let us make, uh, I believe, make this a little bit smaller so you guys can see even more clearly. So just got two dot left and right. But if I erase things, okay, over here, boop, we got two more here, one left, one right, okay? And then you can like select that individually, and then you can use say the basal curve or something like that to drag, to change, um, say the curve, something like that, okay? Of course, you can click it here and click and drag. You can change this curve, okay? So, yeah, so the eraser will change the guideline rather than just simply erase things. I think that's the most important thing to remember. And so, for example, we got this uh, like a, a lot of brush um, overlapping together. So this time when you use eraser, you have to be extremely careful because you got like a multiple guideline, a lot of the uh, items overlapping here. So if you erase, you will not just have a like really clear cut, but it will get really messy. Because if you look at here, let me just uh, uh, maybe select. Yeah, I, I can't possibly select just one thing because it's like a lot of a messy drawing. And um, okay, sorry about that. Uh, um, so um, you, you guys can see it's just like a multiple line. Uh, it's not like multiple lines, but line like zigzag and overlap. So if you um, erase, 
you'll break it and uh, it will just become a multiple lines. So if you look at here, if I erase here, you sort of like cut all these lines, it become a lot of messy lines. And if you look at here, you erase another messy line and you can even make it like shorter and got all this uh, Mess along like this, okay, and then you can you can, you can sort of move this, okay. You move one line out, you move one line out, uh, and as we can see, we got like a multiple separate item overlapping, because yeah, originally it's just one item, just to got the line up and down, up and down, and you cut it, it just become a lot of different separate small items, and uh, every line, every garden line, just got texture attached to it, so it just uh, got. It's a. It's, sometimes it's annoying, because um, you have to change uh, change the uh, sort of the mindset from the um, rasterized uh, drawing, painting uh, mindset to this uh, like vector um, thing. Uh, so you have to be extremely careful about it, um, especially if you draw things. And then later you erase things, it's not as easy as you just erase it in a, uh, say, uh, Procreate, something like that. Okay? Thanks. Bye.